Hello and welcome to Talk War Gaming. and you join us once again for another Warlord Games Bolt Action Unboxing. Uh, this time I'm taking a look at the German Grenadiers World War II Late War German Infantry. Now you may remember from a previous video I took a look at the, the metal German veteran Grenadiers and uh, these are kind of pretty much the same kind of thing except they are uh, 30 uh, part multi-pose hard plastic miniatures and you can see from the front we've got the, the nice box art uh, so let's just kind of flip these guys over and take a look in what we get inside we've got some examples of the assembled and painted miniatures as well and in the contents we have um, enough plastic components to make 30 late war German army miniatures uh, we have uh, lots of different equipment including STG44s um, Car 98Ks, uh, MG42s uh, lots of different kind of equipments as well, which we'll kind of see more of when we look at the sprues. And like I said, there's 30 of the guys in here, and we also get this kind of uh, transfer sheet as well with some of the, uh, the the shoulder markings and things like that. So let's open this box up and take a look at the contents inside. So here in front of me, I have the contents of the box, and the first thing we have is this kind of uh, information sheet, which kind of gives you um, a rundown of what all the components are on the sprues, and also kind of ties in with the numbering that's on the sprue there. So it's on this side, flip it over, and you get some examples of the assembled miniatures, and it also gives you some kind of historical background on the equipment and kind of uh, uniforms that they wore as well, so it's a very uh, informative read there. We also get the, the transfer, sprue, um, transfer sheet as well here, this uh, very, very small uh, different kind of arm markings and things like that. We get uh, several of these sprues. There's actually five of them all together. We've got one to one side, which I've been used to clip off to, for the example miniatures. Uh, just round bases there. And we also get five of these sprues. And they're all identical and they come with a kind of whole host of different weapon options. Uh, it's very useful because you get plenty of like extra parts for like command uh, sprues as well after this as well. So what I'll do is I'll uh, zoom in and take a closer look at these components so you can kind of get a, a closer uh, feel of what the kit's like. So now that I've zoomed in, we can get a close look at the components. And first of all, we have the head. So starting from the left here, we have this uh, bare head here. Uh, we have field caps, a officer's cap, and we also have these kind of different um, uh, helmets there. These, this one's a kind of a bare, bare helmet, and these ones are all covered helmets, such as, uh, as you can see, just on the top there. This has got some kind of uh, camo netting. We also get a range of different weapon options. So we've got the, the Car 98K, the MP40, another MP40 there, uh, a Panzerfaust, a Gewehr, and there's also a Papush or PPSH, depending on how you want to pronounce it, the MP44. And I can't seem to find the, um, the PPSH, but there are some of the, the light machine guns as well, such as the, the MG34 at the top. And there's also an MG42 uh, just there as well. So there's lots of little nice little components uh, to kind of flesh out your miniatures. We've also got the kind of the, the pistol holsters, uh, the Gouvert, um ammo pouches. Uh, we've got some bayonets, rifle grenades, and I just focus on this equipment. So we've got nice, quite a lot of nice little equipment pouches, uh, rolls, canteens, lots of different things, ammo pouches, and it's kind of very nice because with this particular sprue, you'll notice that a lot of the weapons actually come with uh, two arms. So uh, a lot of the kits, kind of, I've, I've previously looked at, had two separate arms. One kind of uh, holding the gun, and the other one just kind of has been like a forearm. Uh, these are uh, together so it makes it very very easy to kind of just get them straight into the miniature and I've also found that a lot of the arms also work quite well with a lot of the bodies there's not certain bodies that you can't use the arms with and there are others that you can uh, so it kind of really offers you some freedom when you're actually creating your miniatures so just before I kind of continue I want to just point out a few of my favorite components on this uh, we have the the kind of the binoculars holding arm here and we also have this uh, arm there which is holding a map which is kind of uh, perfect if you're kind of uh, creating a forward observer and I also really like the the kind of the ammo battle as well that is kind of can be slung across the shoulders uh, that can be used for like the the, the light machine gun crews uh, so some fantastic kind of character on this and we also have um, I should point out as well before I forget we have the, the kind of the ponchos as well on uh, yeah, I think there's two of these per spruce we've got this one here and the kind of the tank water ponchos and one there as well these are really good um, kind of add some kind of variation to miniatures and kind of represent the, the late world geo and feel. So that is all the components on the sprue. Let's kind of uh, uh, have a look at some of the assembled miniatures for these German Grenadiers. So here I have uh, two assembled examples of the miniatures from the German Grenadier Infantry Kit. And uh, on the left here I've got a guy who's wearing the, the kind of uh, tank quarter poncho and he's armed with a Car 98K and he's in the firing position. And the guy on the right is uh, more of a kind of an advancing position and he has his uh, MP44 at ease there. As you can see from the, the kind of the detailing, especially on the poncho, it's very nicely kind of uh, defined, uh, just kind of where the folds are on the material. Uh, very easy to put together as well. Uh, in terms of components, it was literally just a the body and the legs came in one section, uh, the arms 
then the weapon were another component and then the head. So it's literally just three items and then whatever kind of equipment you wanted to add on the back as well. So both of these guys are, I've got slightly different equipment, just kind of get an example. So we've got the, the MP44 ammo pouches and a few kind of uh, personal equipment there and uh, some personal equipment, a canteen and an entrenching tool as well. So overall, very nice mi miniatures to assemble because there's very little in the way of uh, mold lines to remove and it was very kind of quick to just take off with a hobby knife or a file, for example. So overall, very nice kit to uh, construct and very nice miniatures to look at. So let's uh, zoom out and get a kind of an overall look at the kit. And there we have the, the German Grenadiers, the, uh, the multi-part plastic kit from Warlord Games. And if you're looking to kind of create a late war German infantry force, then this is kind of a fantastic kind of kit to get your hands on. Uh, you get 30 miniatures in here, as I've already mentioned. Uh, you also get some kind of excellent kind of HQ components. So you can kind of really flesh out your force just from this one box alone. Um, the components are fantastically detailed. There's an excellent variety in there. They're very characterful and they're kind of... A, consistent with the high quality we've grown used to from Warlord Games anyway. So um, if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to be kept up to date with our latest uh, Warlord Games and Bolt Action videos. And as always, thanks for watching and goodbye.